So this is gonna be a fun video that I'm gonna have a lot of people fighting with me about. Hey everybody, welcome back to Prince's Friend, exploring music through Prince. And today we're going to do an exercise that we've done previously with Emancipation. But now we're gonna do it with the three discs of Crystal Ball. And that experiment is taking the 30 songs from Crystal Ball and condensing it down to 10. What would a single disc Crystal Ball release have looked like? I am very scared to do this. I feel like everybody is going to hate the result, but let's do it anyway because, hey, it's fun. If you like having fun here on the channel with me like this, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so you always know when Princess Friend releases a new video. I do stuff like this all the time though. It's, it's really fun and we're getting near to the end of the year, which is like, let's just have some fun with this, guys. So before you, you see the list, the 30 song list of all of the crazy, amazing music that is on Crystal Ball. Some rules that I definitely want to stick to is one, I wanna make sure that the album is less than an hour long and has the same number of tracks. So we're gonna shoot for 10 songs. And in the Emancipation video, what we did is we took each disc, halved it, and then started going through the songs. And I'm not gonna treat Crystal Ball exactly the same because I don't think it's exactly the same. I have a few different criteria that I'm gonna use in order to get down to our single disc. So first off, I'm gonna take out any tracks that are remixes, songs that you can get somewhere else. So that's definitely going to strike off Love Sign, So Dark, and Tell Me How You Wanna Be Done from disc one and Get Loose and Pussy Control from disc three. So that's already five songs gone, and I already missed them. And since we're really trying to balance this album out, I'm only going to have one long track. And if you remember my review for Crystal Ball, there were three long tracks, one for each disc. On disc one, it was Crystal Ball. On disc two, it was Chlorine Bacon Skin. And on disc three, it was Days of Wild. Personally, I'd go for Days of Wild. Chlorine Bacon Skin is fun, but wouldn't be album worthy in my opinion. But there's also a strong argument that it can't be called Crystal Ball unless the song Crystal Ball is on it. <laughs> For my purposes though, I think I'm gonna go with Days of Wild and maybe I'll change the name of the album. So now that we've gotten those out of the way, those are just easy ways we just got rid of seven songs right off the bat. The idea of Crystal Ball was to mix the 80s and the 90s songs together. So we're definitely gonna want to have a good number of both. So I'm not saying it's gonna be five and five exactly, but with our limitation of 10 songs, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say at least three songs need to be from the 80s and the other seven can be from the 90s. So let's separate those out into their own categories. There are eight 80 songs and then there are 15 90 songs. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna half these two categories, which will not be easy. But it is gonna start getting us closer to what a final album will end up looking like. So out of the 80s songs, there's definitely a few that I like more than others. I'd immediately say that we can strike An Honest Man, but Dream Factory is a must have. Let's cut Sexual Suicide, but then let's also keep Last Heart. I actually like both of those songs, but Last Heart has that kind of darker streak that I like. Make Your Mama Happy should likely be dropped as much as I like it, but then let's go ahead and keep Crucial. That leaves Movie Star versus Good Love. And I think I definitely will need to go with Movie Star. And now we need to get to the hardest category. So we need to get these 1590s songs down to, let's say eight. Most of them for me are must-haves, but we gotta cut something. So let's look at DeBang and What's My Name. I think those two are kind of similar, so I think we probably should drop one of them. Um, What's My Name, I think, is superior to DeBang, as much as I love both of those. And as I said before, I'm definitely keeping Days of Wild as my single long track. But I'll cut the next longest track, which is Acknowledge Me. Oh, that one hurt. I feel like Repop Go To Zippa and Tomorrow both rely on that cool bass line. So let's definitely cut one of those. I think Tomorrow has got to go as much as I love it. And if I was gonna compare the ballads, She Gave Her Angels versus Strays of the World is a good matchup. I think I'd have to keep She Gave Her Angels, the guitar mastery on that one over the Broadway musical production quality. I think that's where I'm gonna go. 
I'm gonna just say right up front that High of the Bone is also definitely a must have. So we're gonna mark that one right away. That leaves us with six songs and three of them have to go. So just looking at what's left, I feel like The Ride is a standout and deserves to stay. Poom Poom, not so much. It was written as a joke. And again, I like the song, but I don't know if it's album worthy if we're really making hard choices here. Interactive versus Calhoun Square. I think Interactive is my choice. And then it leaves 18 or over versus Goodbye. Oh man, I think I'm gonna go Ballad Over Sex on this one. And now we have 12 songs from the album, but we need to get it to 10. And that means we have to drop 180 song and 190 song. I think that movie star is likely a little jokey and maybe won't fit on this particular arrangement. So let's drop that one. Ugh. And on the 90 songs, you know, I feel like both Interactive and Days of Wild are both great opening songs, but you can only have one on a single album. So let's go ahead and drop Interactive. I, I, I think that that's a good choice. Oh man. So now that we have our 10 songs, what order do we want to see these in? I think definitely opening with Days of Wild is a good choice, which is again, what we're going to end up calling this album, this new album anyway. But here's the order that I kind of see it in. So we start off with Days of Wild, which is where Prince is talking himself up big. And then we go into Dream Factory, and that's where he kind of talks about his enemies, his turncoats, as it was. Then we go into What's My Name, reminding everybody who he is and what he represents. Then now that you remember who he is, let's get into some funk. We're gonna go into Hide the Bone, super funky, and we definitely want this song sooner rather than later on the album. We can take that and then go into Rapop Go to Zippa, which continues some of the reggae feeling funk. We, then we can throw in Last Heart, saying that even though he's funky, it is hard to find love. Then Crucial can come in saying that maybe he has actually found that love. And then we can go into the ride where, you know, him and his love get down, obviously. Once we have that, we can do She Gave Her Angels because She Gave Her Angels is about love, but it's also about leaving that love to go do things that, you know, you're not gonna stay with that love. So he knows he has to go, but the love of this woman will protect him. And then we can end the album with goodbye. So he leaves and it's really sad because he was this big shot and he was amazing and he's funky, but he finds love, but he ends up having to leave it behind. I think that that tells a great story, but it leaves us with a 47 minute and three second runtime, which is about three minutes shorter than what we got on each of the discs. So you know what? I'm gonna break my own rule and I'm gonna say I'm gonna make this 11 songs. These are my rules, I can break them. So I'm gonna throw Interactive back in and I'm gonna put it after What's My Name as an official start to the funk train. I think after What's My Name establishes who he is, the Are You Ready works really good at that part in the album, kind of like a kickoff for the really, really funky songs to come after it. And that brings us to a comfortable 50 minutes and seven second runtime. And I think I dig it. So what I want all of you to do is take this song track, these 11 songs, make a playlist of them, listen to it in this order. I've already done it a couple of times. Take this playlist, listen to it in this order. And then I wanna discuss how this sounds as an album. Would this have worked the way that I laid it out here? Let's continue that discussion down in the comments. Also, if you made different choices, I wanna know what your 10, I guess, or 11 track album, condensing it into one disc, what does that look like in your head? Let's continue the discussion down in the comments. This one was a lot of fun. I don't even know, oh my gosh. These were some really hard choices. I think they were maybe a little bit easier than Emancipation. I had a couple that were like, oh no, just get rid of that one. But also just as much fun. I enjoyed doing this so much and maybe I'll do this in the future some more. But if you liked this, go ahead and hit like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, go check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash princessfriend. We have a lot of amazing things, some exclusive things on the Patreon. So go check that out. I do like to show some love to my patrons and I have some stuff coming for the holidays. I think you guys are gonna really dig. With all of that said, may you live to see the dawn. I love you all. See you in the next video.